2022 Nike Cross Nationals. The script was a little bit different this time. Newberry Park still won the team title, but individually, Aaron Salmon, I don't think anyone saw you in the win. They saw you challenging up front, but you emerged the national champion. What were you expecting coming in? I was expecting just to get All-American top 20. Wasn't expecting to win. I was maybe expecting a little top 10 because I came into this race of my plan was just take it out first 800 meters then start to head back and stick with the top group just a little bit behind them because I if I take it out I know my legs are going to be dead I wouldn't have a chance to get in the top like all Americans so I took it out stayed back a little bit after that and just pushed at the end so you wanted that quick start you, you, you got that accomplished this field is so strong so middle mile what you begin to see as far as those around you I began to see Lex and Leo pulling ahead the top group pulling ahead a little bit. I was like, oh crap, better catch him. So I sprinted the downhills. I almost fell on the horseshoe over there just because it's a steep downhill and I opened my legs. And then on the uphills, I opened opened my legs, opened my stride and sprinted up a little bit. And I started catching people. And then last mile, I did the same thing, pushed downhills, pushed the uphills and it worked out. So you went from, I believe it was 16th at the mile, 15th <coughs> at the kilometer, uh, kilometer then the mile, and then you went up, dropped to like fourth, dropped meaning improved to like fourth, third. Mm -hmm. You saw your teammates, Lex and Leo, in your vicinity. What's going through your mind when you catch them? I thought to myself, oh crap, I can actually, like I saw Lex dropping back around, I think, 1,200 to a mile. So I was like, oh crap, Lex is not having this race, so I gotta pick it up. Give me a little bit of boost of energy right there, and then I started picking it up. I was with the kid from Oregon, and then we started catching Leo. I was like, oh, crap, I can actually pass Leo. So I think 400 meters left, I passed Leo, and then we just kicked him to the finish. You're obviously very fit. Just like your teammates, you're all very fit, but you have that 148 leg speed. You're going in that last mile, going in that last stretch. Did you begin thinking about the win? No, not at all. Really? I didn't think I was going to win at all, really. Wow. I just thought, like, I saw Leo, I was like, I could, I could win, but the possibility of that is very slim. I even told myself that during the race, because I know Leo has a kick, but I just, I saw him dying on the hill, and then once that happened, I was like, oh crap, I can actually win. Once you see the finish line, and then you, yes. it's there, what's going through your mind then? Um, just, how fast can I kick? That's all that was going through my mind, and it goes from grass to cement to grass, and I, my spikes didn't sink in because I stepped on the cement and I almost I almost fell a little bit, but I caught myself and finished. On that last stretch, how did you feel physically? Um, my legs were collapsing. I pushed everything I had on those uphills to pass Leo, and then once I did, that boost of energy just came, but once I crossed the line, I my legs just collapsed. I understand you have some magic shoes on today. I did have some magic shoes on. What's the background there? They were my brother's shoes from last year. He won running lane in them, got the 5K national record in them. So I haven't been worn since that. Just wore them today and got the course record here. So it's super exciting. Uh, Team-wise, you had a couple of kids. Obviously, the, the Youngs both had issues today for them at their standard. Uh, Deb Doshi obviously came out late. He was under the weather. He was feeling sick. So <coughs> that kind of situation, other teams would have been in big trouble. You guys won by over 60 points, I believe. What does that say about the program, the state of the program? I just see the dedication on this team. Even though they don't have the bad race, if they have a bad race, they still will do the best they can. Like um, some people on some teams, they have a bad race, they sort of just like pout about it during the race and start dropping bad places. Our team, if we have a bad race, they just try to pick it up the best they can or stay where they are. And I mean, Dave barely ran two miles yesterday. Mm -hmm. So just him finishing the race today was super exciting. He showed up late. You guys thought he would show up. He was feeling under the weather, so he came basically a day late, uh, later than you guys, was quarantined mm -hmm. uh, until pretty much almost race time. Uh, another person who was a late arriver to the course who wasn't going to be here this year was going to be your brother. I ran into your parents yesterday and says, Colin going to be here? No, I don't think so. And then they started looking at flights and said, you know what, let's get him out here. You gave him a pretty special memory, but how, much, how special was it to you just to see him out there as well? I mean, I met him before the race. My parents called me out. Just They said they had to give me stuff. I come out, and I see my brother. Super excited. I gave him a long hug, and he told me that just run your race. You can actually win this. 
mm. and I and that sort of boosted my energy to win. A lot of people see you as a track guy. You're now Nike Cross Nationals champion. What are your I thoughts? I thought of myself as a track guy, but now I'm rethinking that. <laughs> See, next up, track season. Looking forward to it? Or you need some downtime? I'm looking forward to it. All right. Again, this is a great, great performance. Aaron Salmon, 2022 Nike Cross Nationals champion, joining his brother, former champion as well. Outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you.